Hey guys, so I know a lot of you enjoyed my Saints and Sinners playthrough, so today we're going to be playing Walking Dead Onslaught. Now unlike Saints and Sinners, Onslaught is directly tied to the Walking Dead show, allowing you to play as some of the main characters from the franchise. As you can tell by the title, Onslaught is a much more action focused game, mostly because this game was actually supposed to be an arcade style shooter, but about halfway through development, they decided to turn it into a single player story driven narrative game. But from everything I've seen, it seems to have come a long way, and Halloween is just around the corner, so let's jump in and get our immersion on. What comes before and after? Damn it. Holy the shit. The hell was Daryl thinking coming out here by himself? God damn, look at this monkey wrench. This thing is massive. Holy hell. This would be great for killing zombies. From the looks of my outfit, it looks like I'm Rick. There's a walker down there. There's a goddamn walker right there. Can't go this way. You need to catch the Daryl. Then why why even let me walk this way? Good. Oh, what? How are you still alive after that? God damn! Gah! Where's Coral? You son of a bitch. This, I love the speed lines. And by I love, I mean I hate them. Oh, giblets. Definitely Daryl. Yeah, he's got arrows in him. Just in case. I would have to walk so yeah, fast for these speed lines. Hey, Daryl. Daryl, you better have a damn good reason for running off. Oh, nice AR. You're saying you wouldn't come with? I told you not to go. Don't answer to you, Rick. I have people to protect. That includes you. There's a life at stake. Do you even care? That isn't what I'm... Maximum walkers coming this way. Might want to hunker down. Drive to the fallback spot, Eugene. We can settle this later. Here, take this. Oh, okay. Yeah, definitely. Give me this. I thought we were fighting. Band's moving to the East Road. Let's go. Does this mean we're not yeah, fighting no. anymore? Daryl! Whoa! Shit! Daryl, what's happening? I'll be fine. Take the path to your left. I'll see you at the van. Okay, but I don't know what's happening Darryl. in the story. Daryl! Oh, he, dude's got a limp. Shit. Ah, he can take care of himself. Gotta get to the van. Fast. Alright. Already, we're off to a pretty rough start, because I have no idea what we're doing or why we're out here. Daryl said that he's looking for somebody. Hmm. It's a nice little AR he left me. It's a chonky little chonkster. Oh, a little bit of ammo? That's pretty nice that someone just left a bunch of ammo out here. That's good. It's got a zero recoil. Hey, what's up? Let's test these physics out. Can you dismember them? Nope. Can I hit them with the gun? Oh, I can. Nice. Stop it! I do like how there's no stamina meter. I can just fucking beat the shit out of these guys all day. Ah! It's kind of weird that they just start you off with the best gun in the game. <laughs> Daryl! Oh, here's the van. Finally, let's get out of here. Your leg. Just a little banged up from the bridge. I'll be fine. Doesn't look fine to me. Can we go already? Oh my god. Eugene, get that engine running. You still owe me a talk. Damn, fanfic. This is already becoming a fanfic. God damn it, Daryl, you messed your leg up. That leg isn't gonna heal anytime soon. Hope it was worth it. Won't take too long. Feels better than it looks. <sighs> Rick, we got a line on those supplies. You ready to go? Stay here. We'll talk when I get back. 
You better not go nowhere, Daryl. I swear to God, if you hurt that little leg of yours, that beautiful other leg of yours, I'm gonna kiss that sweet, sweet little mouth of yours if you keep messing around, Daryl. Hey, Carol. How you doing? Oh, Michonne. What's up, baby girl? Hey, now that the war's over, we can finally focus on rebuilding Alexandria. Wait, the war? We're organizing efforts to scavenge oh, food and God. materials. Ah. With enough food, we can bring in new survivors. With enough materials, we can build out the community and the arsenal. If you want to go out there, use the map. All right, scavenger map. Plan a scavenger expedition, select a site on the map. All right, Main Street. I think I'm ready. You still need to gear up. Head over to the armory while I get things prepped. Will do. Nice, I got a little mullet going. You can see it in the shadows. Head to the armory. My pleasure. May not seem like much now, but as you discover weapons, the armory will grow. All right, let's this the baby out. Nice. I still got it, baby. Interesting. The sights turn green when it's on target. Get to the van. Eugene is waiting. Eugene! Hey, Eugene! Goddamn son, bitch, I hate your ass! Hey, Michonne! Surprise! Alright, I'm coming. I would like to believe this will go smoothly. Mostly because that means I won't have to exit this fine vehicle. I'm gonna be Rick. Oh no, don't you don't even say goodbye? Find supplies and outrun the herd. See you with the pickup. There's more than enough circumstantial evidence pointing towards this site being the true location of our desired hall. Give me that twinkle. Mm, someone left some ammo here. Is there a flashlight? Some chips. My favorite kind of chips. Oh, we got some walkers, don't we? Kia! Walker! Shit! Oh. Come on, let's dance. Oh, you're an ugly little soul bitch. Ugh. Combat actually feels not bad. Oh. What the? Stay down. Come here. The door's gonna pop any moment. Come here, baby girl. Let me just... Don't pass up supplies. Any place could have something. It's nice that there's no... stamina or... chance of your weapons breaking. Kind of limits the... stress of the game. Don't let that herd catch you. What herd? What is he talking about? I'm out of gun. But it's just as good. Damn, this is the smallest little kookery I've ever seen. This little baby kook. What the fuck is that? Are you serious? Wait, this is supposed to be the horde? Oh my god. Jesus Christ. This better be a filler mission. None of the regular missions better have that. You wanna taste my baby kook? Walkers on me! Who is he talking to? Ah, gotta go fast. Give me that shit. What if that is apple crisps? Give me them apple crisps. Okay, I see. The wall adds a sense of urgency. And it's really hard to play this game without talking like. Without talking like. God damn. Oh shit. Bridge is stuck. Herd's Come on. probably close. Watch it. Oh shit. Oh shit, I don't have time for this. Herd's coming. That is a weird call on their part. I don't know why they did that. Come here. I'm in a rush. Sorry. I don't know why I'm apologizing to these guys. Give me the shit. Give me the shit. Wish and wash laundromat. 
Knock, knock, bitches. It's a lot of them in here. Okay, it's definitely supposed to be more of an arcade experience than Saints and Sinners, which is cool. I'm down. Walker's got me. The fact that you never run out of stamina and these weapons never break really decrease the difficulty of this game and really, really cut down on the tension. Because I could just do this all day. I could do this all day. I could kill thousands of walkers. You'd have to send so many after me. You'd have to send so many goddamn walkers after me to kill me. I'd love to see you try. Oh, that was juicy. I do like how the walkers look. They look pretty solid. They look just like they do in the show, which is nice. This is one invitation that's too sweet to decline. All right, all right, all right, come on. Now. Goddamn Tokyo oh, Drift over here. Equal, that was pretty badass. Great effort. Let's see how we did. Is that good? Any food or fuel you scavenge will go to our scouting parties. Once they're prepped, they'll head out to look for a survivor. Rajul, welcome to the community, Rajul. Campaign chapter one. Okay, so that was a filler mission. New blueprints available. Town hall. Someone left a message for you at the community board. Head over there next. Daryl, your tiny goddamn little legs. No wonder you hurt yourself. You got a child. You got child's legs. You got children's legs. What's going on with that? Look how small your little feet are. No goddamn wonder you hurt Any yourself. Any letters you get from the community will go on this book. Sounds like Rajul has plans for a town hall. Maggie sent some materials over from Hilltop. Oh, Maggie. I do like Maggie. Oh, nice. With the materials Maggie sent, we have enough to finish that town hall. Go over to the drafting table and we can finalize plans. Expanding Alexandria will offer you different perks in the field. Try building the town hall. We have all the materials and enough workers to support it. Perfect. Staffing a building with additional oh, nice. workers will improve its efficiency. Guess I should get to it. See what I can scavenge out there. Okay, so that was a filler mission? Michonne, goddammit, baby, you sent me on a filler mission? First mission into the game, you send me on a filler mission? Me? Your man? Your lover? How dare you? What is this? Another one? I can do that again? I don't want to do that again. The fuck? Wait, I have to do that again? I have to keep doing this? I have to grind? Are you serious? Are you serious? Might want to talk to Daryl. Oh, I'm going to talk to- I'm going to talk to Daryl. Oh, I'm going to talk to Daryl. Daryl! You and your goddamn short ass legs. What are you doing over here? Finally ready to talk? Yeah, I'm ready to talk. Oh, okay. This is the. Okay. Okay. I was. I might have overreacted a little bit. This is an actual campaign mission. I told you not to go out. Why didn't you listen? She's still out there. Who? The girl. I told you. Just need another day. I can find her. You came back in a cop car, covered in blood. I asked you to tell me what happened, and instead you ran off. What's going on with you? I need you to trust me. No, Daryl. I'm trying to rebuild after a war. I need everybody here, now. Ah, oh, fine. You really want to know what happened out there? Yeah, I, I, I want you to show me. I don't want you to tell me. You know, like they do in the movies. Started with the herd. The one that ran me off the road. Shit. First thing I heard was Eugene on the radio. Anybody there? I heard one hell of a cacophonous crash. Everything hunky dunky on your end? Next, I heard the walkers. I needed a weapon. Fast. Guess I'm Daryl now. Can you hear me? I believe your vehicle may have been compromised. If you can hear me, find some form of vehicular transportation and head for Alexandria. I found them just in time. Just conveniently, just happens to be right here. I'm gonna clear this place out real quick. Where'd you end up? I was in the <sighs> middle of a camp. Looked destroyed. Any survivors? Nah. I was just hoping for meds. Give them crisps. 
Eventually, I found some meds. Fix me up. Oh my god! Fast. Holy f ah. That actually scared me. The place was crawling. Had to keep moving. Why didn't you tell me any of this before? Didn't have time. Still don't. It took you two days to get back. You don't think I need to know what's going on? Ugh. Just in case. Dead or no, take no chances. I could do this all day. Literally. Found the top box. That's when you drove home? Ugh. Wasn't that easy. The gun on the hood helped, though. Damn. Right in time, too. My arms were getting tired. Got 12 rounds. What? Shot them square in the goddamn head, and they didn't fucking die? They take three rounds to kill them? Are you serious? What is happening? Uh, oh, okay, uh, that's complete Place bullshit. Shit People must have panicked. Just... Goddamn, three bullets Military to the head to kill a zombie? Kind of a barricade. Well, they were probably trying to keep things under control. If you say so. Okay, so there's literally no reason to even use a gun in this game. Well, the katana is definitely gonna be the best weapon. Oh, that was pretty brutal. Walkers had to get ready before the barricade came down. Barricade's breaking down. Need to get as many bullets as possible. Or I can just stab them all to death. Oh shit! Fucking whack them all up in here. What? I stabbed you in the head! Break yourself! Damn! <laughs> that is such a brutal Got way to kill a zombie. Barely. Oh. I headed toward town. First step to getting home. I guess they thought that if the zombies died in one headshot, it'd be too Take easy. Too I don't know. Need to keep looking before the trail goes cold. Not until you tell me the whole story. You haven't even said who you're looking for. Your life's in danger. Ain't right. If who are you talking here, about? Might fall apart. We're trying to rebuild. I'll tell you the rest. But if you won't help, I'll find someone who will. Daryl, if your baby legs don't tell me what the hell is to. going on here. Locked. Really, I need one person? You're gonna make me grind before I have to do the next mission? Are you fucking serious, Daryl? You get your little baby ass legs out of here. I'm done with you. Carol, I'm done with Daryl, alright? I'm, I'm like this close to being done with you as well. How's Daryl holding up? Oh my Stubber god, you just clipped me in the already face! trying to run off again. All right, what happened next? Did the only thing I could. Kept walking to town. What's the girl have to do with all this? When I got to Winchester, I wasn't alone. Why aren't you answering me, Daryl? Why are you being so Followed secretive? Signs leading to an evac site. What were you hoping to find? A radio, guns, something. Best chance I had. God, there's just, there's no weight to this. 
There's like there's no way I'm gonna die as Daryl or Rick. And I have no idea who we're searching for. I have literally no clue why I should care about any of this. I'm a goddamn killing machine. I can't be stopped. Thought there might be something in one of them buildings. There's no stamina. There's no way my weapons can break. It's very clear this was just an arcade game that they basically spruced up to make it a quote-unquote single-player experience, but this is not. This is not it. There? Nothing worth locking up. The, the mark has been missed for sure on this. It's just... <laughs> It's a pretty valiant effort to turn an arcade game into a single player game, but you gotta do a lot more than add some rickety jank storyline that you don't even show. I mean, like, why do I care about the girl? I don't even know who the girl is or what she even looks like. I don't even know her name, let alone why Daryl cares, other than the fact that he's Daryl and he cares about, cares about little girls, I guess? I mean, the way you do this is that you have Daryl save the girl you know, she she interacts with Daryl. She's she, you know she's a charming and she's likable. And then she gets taken, or she runs away, and you gotta find her. But right now, there's literally no reason why anyone would care about this. So if I have no emotional investment in this girl then what was the point? Why would I even care about any of this? Who cares if anything happens to her? Never expected what I saw next. No way. Hey! Cop car. And it was drawing walkers. Goddamn police. Ammo for the gun I'll never use because it's fucking terrible. What's up, bitches? I don't even care about waste ammo because it's basically useless as it is. <laughs> oh, that's pretty fun, actually. Coming through. I figured that car was long gone. Kept moving to the evac zone. Surprised any car like that is still working. Look at these tiny, tiny little cup handles. Look at the handles on these tiny little cups. God, the, the, the most fragile handle to a cup. Oh my God. Give me this. Shut up. Get off me. I reached the evac. Just needed to find something useful. Why use why use anything but the knife? Goddamn eye, baby. You been to many evac sites? Once. Merle. Oh, oh, right in his jaw. Oh, I thought those were zombies up there. Found a radio. Some Hello? Other thing picked up a signal. Hello? Daisy, if you hear this, follow the siren to the grocery store. Please, I'll keep you safe this time. I had to be coming from the cop car, so I tried to track it down. That driver could have been dangerous. Didn't matter. No other options. Daisy. Guess the girl's name is Daisy? What's up, bitches? I tried to head for the road and spot the car. Oh, you got a mask on. Come here. Okay. 
Okay. Gotta slice their necks up if they have helmets on. Oh, shit. He's heading towards a grocery store. What'd you do? Tailed him. Cut through some buildings across the street. Mm, just gonna close that door? Okay. Man. People sure left a lot of supplies in these buildings. Yo, what's up, bitches? Let's dance. Pop out. Just slips right into their goddamn heads. Thing is, I really love Saints and Sinners because the visceral just crack of the blade against the skull, you can really feel it. Also, there'd be a limit to how many skulls you would puncture with this goddamn knife. Come on through. I imagine I can't, I can't shoot. Don't see shit like that every day. Oh, what do we got here? Found an old rifle. Lever action. That's not how lever actions work. They're not magazine fed, but... Alright, whatever you say. Whatever you say, game. Ammo. Oh, I hate how let's let go of the front of the gun when I rack the lever. Put it in your mouth. Hey, what's up? Stay back! Back! God damn it! Beat the fuck out of these zombies! I was close, but I was running out of time. Nope. Stay down. Nope. Keep running. Can't stop me anyways. Found my way into a warehouse. <sighs> there was a loading bay that led back out, but the release lever for its lift was missing. Hmm. Had to find it. Classic. A classic video game moment. Gotta find the lever. Kind of everything about this game is just really floaty and just non-consequential. Like, it, the knife just, like, goes through them. The release lever looked rough. Whoa. Someone stabbed this guy with the release lever. I hope that it still worked. You got in here. I'm just go on a stabbing spree, man. This knife is so OP. I mean, it is a bayonet, so it's ready to pull the switch. military grade, but still, Jesus Christ, man. The car was there, all right. 
had to move. What's up, buddies? Oh, damn! Only way out Come on. smash the lock. Oh, gate open. All right, now this is what I'm Locked talking about. Down. Car had to be there. Where's that car at? Ooh, my shadow's hilarious. All right. Hope this thing doesn't close on me. Wow, what a surprise. What, what caused that to close? Who closed that? I saw you tailing me. You want your friends back? Bring Daisy to White Oak. <laughs> what? That was the most arcade game gone. bullshit I've Just ever like seen. That. You followed her? Still wasn't sure who Daisy was or what the driver meant. But I needed a ride. 